Joining us now on the Deseret First Credit Union Hotline is the head coach of the UMass Minutemen football team, Mark Whipple. Mark, welcome to BYU Sports Nation. Yeah, morning, guys. How you doing? Fantastic, thank you. Uh, we want to know what uh, life is like as the coach of an independent football team and a new independent team at that. I've been good, you know, um, besides the fourth quarters, you know, so uh, we've got a young football team and, a, you know, building the program at the uh, FBS level. And um, certainly the schedule has been a challenge. We knew that going in and uh, we were just caught with some things administratively that, uh, you know, didn't have, you know, just had to do what we had to do to get a schedule. So, um, you know, it's been an education. It's been good. Our, our guys are uh, excited about their trip out west. It's been an interesting year, and if there's any team that can relate to what's going on, it's uh, BYU and BYU fans, of course. So it's been an impressive schedule. You played four Power 5 teams. You've been able to put up some points against some of these teams. So what are some of the strengths of your team this season, Coach? Well, I, I think they compete. I don't, the, the, For the 10 games, there's not a game that you f go back to the bus or the plane and say, you know, well, we didn't show up today. The guys will show up and they'll play. And they'll compete. I, I, this is a, 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 a this is a true team. They really care about one another. It's it, we had a great camp. We've had a great season. It's just we just you know don't have enough bullets to uh, compete at this level. Um, you know it's not by by you know not with effort. Every game we have about a four or five minute like segment in there that just we kind of lose it a little bit and uh, don't reset fast enough. Uh, Troy State example, we drop a kickoff and then give up a big play and then fumble, you know, and, and all of a sudden it's it's 14 point difference. So, um, so that's been a little bit of our nemesis. We're healthier this week with a bye week. We get some guys back. We haven't had a lot of guys practice lately, and I think playing the SEC teams has, took a little more toll than than maybe I expected with their size and their speed. Coach, how far away from being at the level that would please you is UMass football? Well, I, 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 there's no question we've improved every every year. Now, record-wise, we're not. But, you know, when you play a, a Florida team that had all their guys, and BC is a very physical team, and, uh, you know, we're right there in the fourth quarters. When, we, when I first got here, we played Penn State. It wasn't a close game. and Penn State was not a great team. They were a bowl team, but... So we've taken the games, almost all of them, into the fourth quarter. And, uh, you know, in the other teams we played outside the Power Five, Troy State's 8-1. They've lost to Clemson 30-24. And La Tech's leading the uh, Conference USA with an explosive offense. So leading the country probably in offense. So the other the guy, the teams we played have just been, you know, honestly, they've just been better. So we need another recruiting class, certainly talent-wise, playing between probably that BYU, we'll probably play. We will play 12 freshmen. Uh, you know, some of those guys will start. We got a couple of freshmen out, but uh, so they're, they're going to be here for a few years, and they're learning a lot, and uh, and they'll learn a lot on this trip. Uh, you have a four-game series with uh, BYU, two in Provo the next uh, this and next year, and then uh, two at Gillette Stadium there in Foxborough. Which for BYU fans, they're very excited uh, about those. Those games with UMass, especially uh, in New England, there for those BYU fans. But what did you think of the series uh, when it was first announced? Four game series with BYU. No, I thought it was. I I I grew up in Arizona, so I, I followed. I've always followed BYU. We've seen them a lot. I saw them playing a festival, both yesterday in the seventies, and and uh, know what they've done. They won a national championship, and you know, playing a BYU has helped our recruiting. You know, uh, some kids, we've got a couple of kids from California, a couple from Arizona, you know, for their families that, that they'll, they'll be out to the game, uh, for our, some of our alums, we'll have a, some people out there. So I think it's a real good thing. I think it's a part of our guys' education. I'm just not playing, you know, in new England, they're playing all over the country. So I, I think it's a really good series and excited about it. And, it's helped us recruiting without question. We we point to, hey, we're going to go out west, play BYU, who, you know, certainly has a lot of respect from everybody in the country. The head coach of UMass, Mark Whipple, with us on BYU Sports Nation. As an independent, BYU has made it clear they are seeking a Power 5 conference. Now, this is also new to you relatively, Coach. Is the goal at some point to get back into a conference, or do you kind of just want to ride this train for a while? No, I, I think we would like to get into a conference, certainly. You know, most likely we would like to get to the American, you know, and get to our 
really our, our main rival, which is University of Connecticut, is UConn. And, uh, you know, they're only we share the same airport. And, and it was always a, when I was here the first time in the ni- late 90s and early 2000s, we played them three times and, and the venues were sold out. Same with our, for our basketball. That's that's our natural rival. You know, we've got series with BC now. We've got series with Temple and Philly. We've got our Army coming on a schedule. So, but uh, you know, so that that's where we like to go. Certainly, and that that makes the most sense. But like probably like BYU, you got to sit and wait. You know, you're trying to you're building your program, and certainly wins would help us. But uh, we got to do some things facility wise, which we haven't pl- play and playing in Gillette. It looks like we're going to play in Fenway Park next year maybe the next two years. So there's some things there that I think uh, that, that are attractive to teams coming to uh, play us in New England. We heard there's a relationship with uh, Andy Reid, who's uh, one of the fan favorites for BYU, the current head coach of the Kansas City Chiefs, of course. What's your relationship like with Andy? Yeah, I, I was with the Steelers for three years. And, um, you know, we played Philadelphia. And then uh, um, – then I was off, and then uh, Andy Reid hired me in 2008. We went had a real good run uh, as a senior consultant and a senior offensive coach, and um, spent you know a lot of days. And we had a great run, and uh, learned a lot from him, and a dear friend, and uh, just a guy I respect tremendously. He's a really good football coach, but probably even more important, a really great person. And so uh, some of the things we do here is through him, and. Uh, you know, we text back and forth, and uh, I'll probably shoot him one when I get to his alma mater on uh, on Saturday morning or something. So he's done a great job. Coach, it's hard not to notice a guy like Adam Brenneman, who is a Penn State transfer and was just recently named a semifinalist for the Mackey Award given to the nation's best tight end. Why do you feel like he deserves that type of status? Well, I, I, I think certainly his numbers. You know, he's leading the country. I think he's made one catch behind – the kid from Mississippi and, and receipt receptions and has seven touchdowns and just a really, really good player was a freshman all American at Penn state, got in some injuries. He was uh, my son's roommate at Penn state. And I, I got to know him a little bit and just wanted to change the scenery and gra- graduated in three years with double major. And uh, you know, we had, so we got him here and he just has a really good sense, a real good feel for the game um, understands the hash area. Um, receiving abilities, uh, plays well off linebackers, and got enough speed to 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 to, to play against safety. So, um, uh, just a, a real good player, and just excited for you know the success he's had, and he stayed healthy, which he wasn't able to do the last couple of years at Penn State. So, uh, glad he's here, and and, and I'm hoping he's going to come back. Coach, we thank you for the time. We know you're very busy. We look forward to seeing you in Provo. And just make sure that uh, when you come to Provo, you get some BYU creamier, uh, Creamery ice cream, do some other things, take selfies of it, and send it to Andy Reid so that he's super <laughs> jealous. Yeah, I gotta look for, I'm looking for a statue. I can send it to him. So, okay. <laughs> so are we. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, guys. See, see, see you this weekend. Yeah, bye.